fulls are a dime a dozen. That is that never full she has is gonna cost less than a new never full today. Facts. I, you know, you never know how old fans are and uh, and what they've been up to prior to the show. So uh huh. I don't know if I I don't, I don't kiss fans anymore, but uh, uh but it's it's still love. That is what Megan the Stallion would call a goofy. This is. He's goofy, guys. This is a goof. What did we learn in this vlog? We learned purses are not a financial asset that will appreciate. Their value is based on market demand, supply and demand. They are not a bond. A bond is a financial asset that will appreciate in value. This is a goof. This is Canadian slang for PDF file. That's a goof, okay? Remember, Megan told us about him first. He sampled R. Kelly. He 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 should be on the Megan's Law thing. He you know was making fun of her when he has the BBL. Um and and she said he's a goof. He's goofy because he's a goof. It's Canadian slang. This is a public service announcement. You were not actually in that wheelchair. A purse is not. Listen to Megan the Stallion. Don't buy Birkins. Buy stocks. She went to college and she's a hottie. Listen. She knows things. Five, four, this one doesn't. Three, two, one, Get it? Zero. Hot girl study. Financial. Lift off. We have a lift off. Bitches. It's Tuesday. I attempted a vlog yesterday. I went to the grocery store with Patrick. So we're at Rouse. We're at the one Rouse because, you know, I got a stalker. So, yeah, a little bit of a pre roll. Yeah, the grocery store. So much fun. Yeah. Having to go to the different grocery store. So much fun. So welcome to Tuesday. I am sitting here. I am watching a video about how Drake is trapped as Jimmy Brooks from Degrassi still. Like I said, this guy's explaining to us why Drake is still wheelchair Jimmy. You gotta learn to grow out of your old self and you gotta be constantly evolving as a person. This is what I've been trying to say to Alicia and Remy, instead of just like going back to what you used to work for you, like school Alicia, right? And I tell her she needs to evolve and grow and she's really into style and stuff. And I gave her the idea for the Look For Less show but reformulating it for now and adding thrifting and online shopping and, you know, maybe collabing with other, you know, um, YouTubers or influencers in other places and nothing. So, hi. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Drake, Drake does that. Drake does that. He still thinks he's wheelchair Jimmy. Remember, Drake was an actor just like... Ronald Reagan was an actor and Trump well Trump wasn't even an actor he's a reality star so just remember those things hi welcome so yeah I'm trying to get with it for the day today's Patrick's birthday we're almost the same age again remember we're two weeks two hours and 22 minutes apart Two 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 is the set the symbol for twin flames or something. So it's my twin flame. So yeah, I'm sitting here getting with it. Delphi's going on. Delphi trial today is day four. Today's day four of the trial, and um, today I was watching Hidden True Crime before I switched over. They showed the video where they got the still of bridge guy and apparently that they had to like totally like break down and isolate that still because he was only on there for like less than like a second and so yeah and it was the girls at the end of the like bridge thing and they were filming each other and i guess he just comes he's coming up on them like so yeah 
Delphi's going on. Sarah Boone trial's going on. That, the suitcase schmurder. Um, she's supposed to be testifying, which, I mean, mm, did that work for Jody? My girl Jody? My, my, my Jody? P.O.S. Jody and, and Lifer Jody? I still joke, Patrick. I'm like, yeah, me and Jody are going to start that true crime podcast. Do you have a collect call with, with an inmate? And every week it'll be me and Jody trying to go over a case with bad reception. He's going, oh, no, let me get over here. Yeah, I'm sorry. The reception's just bad in here. Yeah. And then we get to something. She goes, well, the guy's totally guilty. And I'm like, like, you're totally guilty, J Jody? Blah, 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 blah. You know it was self-defense. Blah, 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 blah. And hangs up on me. Every week she'll hang up on me because I call her a schmurderer or tell her she was guilty, but then she comes back next week because she's a narcissist that needs the attention. You see how that could be a fun podcast? We'll have no sponsors, make no money, but people will react to it and make fun of Jody, and we'll have more content for reactors. I volunteer as tribute. You have a collect call with an inmate. Featuring Desert Mermaid and Jody Arias. Yep, she's guilty. And it'll just be me like, like you're guilty, Jody. Nee, 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 nee. Hangs up. She just goes off on me every week and hangs up, but she calls back. Like, so every week I go, yeah, so me and Jody made up in emails again. So we're going to try this again this week, guys. Let's get on the line. So it's like, bring, bring, bring. You have a collect call with an inmate. Blah, 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 blah. Jody Arias. <laughs> you know, not guilty. <laughs> so, yeah, what's on the YouTubes? <coughs> not editing that out. I'm getting over a cold still, which I didn't really have a cough with this cold. I was just congested. Let's see what's going on in the YouTubes. Mm -hmm. Drake is still Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Amber Crombie and Finch. Modeling. So Amber Crombie and Finch. I f swear. I got deja vu. Maybe it's because I've heard stories about this for years. But I felt like we knew this already. I felt like we knew this. You know when you'd go over to the Grove and they'd have that one dude standing outside the store that for people to take pictures with? You know what I'm talking about, Alicia. Remy. Zane. Yeah. Yeah, so that happened. What does that remind you of that we were talking about recently? Let me give you a hint. It's not atmospheric modeling like I was originally calling it. <laughs> Atmosphere modeling, right. So, this is what we are bordering on when Alicia goes to, allegedly goes to the car show. You know, when hypothetically a car company hires an influencer to go to an event whose audience has nothing to do with cars. And it's a woman who's single. What are we bordering on here? Yeah, like this. This is what we're getting at. This is what I was getting at, Alicia. You were there for other people, and it borders on this. And when they do stuff like that, that is how they kind of bring you in and start sifting, sieving to see who's going to fall through and be easier to take to shit like this. Like this. If you listen to the press conference, that's what they do. They bring, like, for example, these are just models, right? But let's say they were influencers going to parties, right? Well, they bring them to the parties. And then they see who's down to really party. Kind of like how Diddy would bring people to his freak-offs. Like the, the, like the Marshall said. Like, 
like the marshal said. I can't believe I was listening to a government professional stand up there and say freak offs, but brings them over and sees who's really down to part A. Who's really, really willing to go there for money, fame, business connections. Like you look at like these in, these top people, like top models like Bella Hadid and um, Haley Bieber. Well, she's married now, but I don't worry about that shit anymore. But you know, Kylie Jenner and you think that they're famous. They're at the top of influencing. Really, all these influencers are on the bottom. It's the people you don't know about who are at the top. The people who are at the top, they know. I don't need to put myself out there. I will get other people to do it for me. I will siphon off of them. And then when nobody is interested in anymore or they fucked it up, we will throw them away and we will get new people to replace them. Whether they're singers uh, rappers, whether they are um, models, whether they are actors, actresses, whether they are uh, child stars, whether they are influencers, YouTubers, gamers, uh, writers, all these low level people that supply the creativity and the art and the substance, we will just get more of them because poor people or people who are hungry to make it, we can take advantage of them. That's why you should never let anybody, never let money control you. Never let money control you. I know that's like an easy thing to say, especially in a world where people are starving to fucking death and shit. People are homeless everywhere. Because at a certain point, you will end up trading away not just your integrity, but your soul. And then one day, you wake up and you look back and you go, what the hell? Or you don't wake up. So why we have a lot of these musicians and stuff that die in their late 20s. Amy Winehouse, I've been listening to her a lot. It's so weird to think tears dry on her own that Jeffree Star and Trisha Paytas were both in that music video before they made it big, but they didn't know e they knew each other but didn't know each other. Hey, interesting. LA's really small, guys. California Southern California is very small. Very small. Especially, you would think the internet made it bigger. No, the internet made, made Southern California feel like a hometown to me at this point. These people just live on the other side to me. I'm out here in Coachella. <laughs> I'm out here in the, what is it, the CV? I'm out here in the CV, the Coachella Valley. The CV. I don't know. I, that's probably a gang sign I shouldn't be making. Because there is, like, you know, we have real gangs. Like, remember Alicia's Coachella jacket? And the, like, far lettering on the back. And I'm like, there's... I breathe for a guy who is a member of an organization that had that tatted on him. And that was the... For their organization. I thought that was very interesting. You know, and I'm like... I wonder how they feel about that or they know the people who because you know like down here in this Coachella Valley everything gets very together and shit. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to try and get with it. We got some changes we got to make. Like I said, um like I went to the store and so I got some healthy stuff. Now, we're having steak for Patrick's dinner, uh, for Patrick's birthday dinner. I'm going to make him, he's going to make, well, he's going to cook the steak. He likes, he's, he's better at cooking steak than me, but I'm going to make baked potatoes. And so, yeah, um, 
And then I wanted to clean today and stuff and clean up because we're making changes. We're, remember, we're getting ready for the jump. We're getting ready. We got to make changes and we got to start with like us and we got to start with the way we eat and like our life. And so, yeah, we're going to change the way we eat. That's a really easy way to do. So I'm going to be trying to cut back on sugars not being like foodie and um at getting exercise and stuff so i would thought i'd spend this week trying to you know get the house organized you know getting back on top of cooking you know get my shit together use this as a week to get organized for the jump it might be more than a week organization but you know, sometimes when you start something, it's a slow start, and sometimes that's better because then you just ease into it and stuff like that, so. This is the start. The start. The start of the changes. So, yeah. Look at Mr. Frank. Mr. Frank. Aw, cute. Thank you, baby. Can I get it right? So to kick us off, before we go into the, the really tough questions, can you each tell us how you would describe YouTube in one word? I would go with ubiquitous. I was thinking about that one. <laughs> I'll go no words and just the button, the play button. <laughs> the lozenge, as we talked about it. I'm gonna the say lozenge. Pleasure. Interesting, right? This is a panel going on. On YouTube advertising channel, I shared it yesterday on my community tab. Tapping into YouTube's social possibilities with global agency leaders. Panel discussion. Mm -hmm. Leisha, you need to go over and watch this. It's on my community tab. Hit the link. I'd say Remy, but I, I don't know if she's going to get it. Or Zane, or he. He don't give a shit. And Zane, he, let's be real, he's not going to get it. But girl, go watch this. You need to watch it, okay? Be linking shit for you to watch and educate yourself. You're wasting your time on TikTok, girls. Girls. Anyways, so welcome. Yesterday was Patrick's birthday, so I was just like, I'm just going to hang out with him. So we just, we, we made steak and baked potato and uh had a side of mac and cheese and yeah so that was what we did for his birthday i made some sweet potato fries didn't i no there we go let there be light so yeah feeling tired today mm. well, those came out pretty good yeah i made sweet potato fries i was just kind of like i don't know I don't want to just eat them out of the fryer. I don't know. I was hungry, but not hungry. Like, you know what I mean? You're lazy. But you don't really want to cook something like that. Mm -hmm. I had coffee, too. Well, I might have that later. We still have leftover steak from last night. We also got King Hawaiian rolls, so I thought maybe I'd cut some of that steak up real small and then put it on the King Hawaiian rolls, hit it with some cheese, have some sweet potato on the side, I don't know. And then I was just sitting here and I was just like, ah. I was watching people go over Delphi stuff. I honestly have no idea, guys. If It reminds me of my trial where I was just like, I have no idea how this could go. This could go either way. I have no freaking idea. I have no idea. So, like, and I, the other thing too is, I'm not seeing the evidence the jury's seeing, so it's like, I don't know when it comes like that way, so. Mm-hmm. So, I'm just like, I, I have no idea. Um, basically, uh, Pretty Basic posted today too as well. Um... They did an interview with Bella Porsche, did not watch it. I, I I don't know if I care too much about their podcast as much anymore. Basically, Unfiltered is a little more interesting to me because it's like an epic fail. It's like a fail every time, so. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so they posted that, and then Unfiltered Podcast has their thing that came out, I think, yesterday? I'm not sure. 
I wanted to show you guys something. So, remember this? My little book I got from the um, drugstore to, like, plan and shit like that. So, yeah. I like to do the post-it notes. I did this before Alicia Marie. I started this before Alicia Marie, okay, guys? I started doing the post-it notes 15 years ago, guys. I did this 15 years ago when I was in nursing school. Alicia was still in high school, okay? She was probably still in fucking high school. Remy was probably in middle school, okay? I was doing this shit before you, okay? You get it? Get it? Get it? Get it. Okay, so anyway, so... Yeah, I went through the printable site to look at, like, the new products and shit they had and, like, see, like, new things I could design. So, you know, like, because I wanted to start designing some more beanies and hats and then blankets and they also have um, new, like, water bottles and things like that on there. So, I was going to do some, some designing and think about, like, you know product design and whatnot and then I redid the villain shirts because I had some spelling errors on there no one clocked me on it I am the worst speller and I swear I am always checking on spell check every time and for some reason I still miss shit at least I'm not a fucking like uh, a cancer doctor or like a um surgeon or a heart surgeon or a neurosurgeon because me making errors in those kinds of jobs would be a lot worse than just being a fucking YouTuber, t-shirt designer, whatever. It's like, I can fix it, not a big deal. Especially when I'm doing print on demand. So, I fixed it. And I fixed the line on the girl because there were some lines where I was like, that's not coming out as crisp as I want. So, I fixed all that. Um, I think I showed you guys. I finished my background for live streaming. I don't remember if I showed you. Oh, oh, there's my thumbnail from the other day. Yep. So this is like a background, one of the backgrounds. But then I took this girl and I cut her out so that I could put her over as like an over, you know, to represent me so I don't have to come on camera all the time or whatever. It's just easier. Um... And put it over what I'm reacting to and stuff. So, I'm going to be working. I'm working on all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the final. I, I Final. Yes. So, I'm going to make zip jackets. I didn't really like that hoodie. But, here's the other thing I'm going to try and do. Is, um, there is a hoodie that I do like. And it's, it's Adidas hoodie. Comes in red. And... But they don't do the DGT printing on it. They don't do direct garment printing. It's um, DTF. It's direct film transfer. So, I and I've never done that. So, I'm going to do that. And it does, and they do embroidery too. So, I'm going to try and make this into something that could be embroidered onto like a beanie or a hat or a sweater. So, we can have like a zip jacket. Like, you know the, um, you got this sweater that I have with the mermaid logo on the back well I want to make this into like a zip hoodie but like with you know like the patch with her like silhouette on it or whatever you know so yeah and then today I've been messing around with I don't need to show you but I've been messing around learning with OBS so I've been learning how to do the different scenes in OBS and I could do recording in OBS but I'm going to try and I have to clear off my desk and stuff and um, I'm going to set it up for live streaming in the bedroom so that I can stream back there. Um, not with like a camera or anything, just my voice and we can, um, we can stream on the reaction channel. I thought that would be fun, but I wanted to um, use the other monitor I have. I have two other monitors that I used to use for graphic design and stuff and I need to get back to using them because then it, when you're using an external monitor on a laptop, then you use less of the, your Jeep graphic card, which helps you like speed up the process with like images and like designs and shit like that and on Premiere Pro and all that shit, right? And, and streaming online. So I'm, 
gonna do set it up back there so I have dual monitors and it'll also be easier for me to um stream and not use so much of my graphics card hear the cats they've been restless today mm-hmm mm -hmm. very restless so what else is going on the YouTube Delphi let's see mm. Oh, Frenchie's live, covering Foodie. Foodie made a new friend. I don't know if you can see the... It's this lady right here. This Foodie's new friend. Do you see that? There's Foodie's new friend. Who the hell is that, Foodie? Who is that? Is that Maraud's wife? Is that... Who is that? It's weird, right? Mm-hmm. There's gonna be some tea there, so I think I'm gonna listen to a little bit of Frenchie stream. See what she has to say. I'm waiting for more people to come on about Delphi because they should be wrapping up for the day. And so we should be getting like more detailed notes from people. Hopefully, so yeah. So I think I'm gonna hook myself up with some food. Find a stream to watch, and then I'm gonna get to doing some designing. But yeah, today is a a productive Wednesday, right? A productive Wednesday. I need to go over to the Snark Reddit actually. Hold on, before I let you go for a sec, which then it's a vlog, and then I'll be right back. But in a different time, right? Let's go over to the Snark. I I keep waiting to see if anybody's gonna cover the uh watch the um what the fuck. Sweet Fin collab? What's that? Remy, um... Yeah, Remy's, like, hawking something else. What is this? Is this a store? Is this, like, an order thing? Oh, it's a, uh... It's a food place that's in L.A. Sweet Fin. Hmm, interesting. Like a Poke Bowl place? That's what it sounds like. Whatever, Remy. Food influencer. What's this one? Mm, I don't know what that is. Mm, Remy. Alicia sitting on the ground. Alicia sitting on the ground with her crotch out. Nothing. Nothing about their podcast today. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Alicia posted. They Someone posted this on the Reddit. And all I could see was that her crotch is basically in the middle of the photo. Alicia. This is a no. Like, this is cute, but you need to learn to pose better, sweetheart. Baby girl, this is not it. Not it. Your crotch is right in the middle of the photo. Right there. Girl. Baby girl, this is a no. This is something Foodie would do. Remember that dress she wore to her grandma's funeral? Disrespectful. And 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 you saying that you listen to Doce? Doce, who is just just uh co-signed by Kendrick? Girl, you jumping on that train too? It's too late. It's too late. You're not like us. You support James Charles. You let him come to your house, and you let him dox the front of your home. You've not come out and said anything against him, Mr. Beast, nothing. All you do is sit there and pander and fence ride. Your crotch raw from fence riding, girl? Is that why it's out in the middle of this photo? I know, I'm a raunchy ass bitch, but really? You're going to have to do a lot more than this to step it up. The jump is coming and you're not going to make it sitting on the ground with your crotch out in the middle of a picture. It's not going to happen. Okay? Posting that you're listening to the trendy artist, not going to happen. Being a 31-year-old trying to be Sabrina Carpenter, not going to happen. Which, Sabrina Carpenter, Alicia, you used to make fun of the whole Disney, you know, child star to pop star pipeline. That's what Sabrina Carpenter is. She was on Boy Meets World. Girl Meets World. Like, what? That's the pop star to, uh, or, uh, 
child star to pop star pipeline there. Just like we got the prisoner to uh, influencer pipeline. Yeah, there's a pipeline of child stars to being pop stars. Drake? He ain't no rapper. He's more of like a pop star to me. Like, I never saw him as a rapper. Like, he did like pop rap. He was not, he's not a rapper. So. My cat agrees. My cat knows. Drake is not a rapper, okay? He was never a rapper. Like, like I could put some lines together and some beats and I could theoretically rap over it. Doesn't mean I'm going to be a rapper or I'm ever going to be a rapper. No matter how many times Drake raps on a, on a song or does a rap song, it doesn't matter. He will never be a rap star, okay? And he just, for some reason, he just can't accept it. I, and that he's a PDF file, right? I still can't believe everybody. Oh, can't believe Kendrick. Whoa, damn, certified. What? What? Like, thank God someone finally said it. It's like what I've been saying about James fucking Charles. You know, like, why is everybody just standing around and going, well, we can't because, you know, the bar, you know, we have to prove it in court and wasn't convicted. And you know, it, the bar is so high in court to prove shit. We got Richard Allen. He might be guilty or not. I don't know. But they have to convict him beyond a reasonable doubt. You know how hard it is to do that with he said, she said cases? Raw. Oh. <laughs> Copyrighted. Like, no, Mariah, no. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, nothing, 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 so I'm going to go so I can work on some designs, catch up on gossip. I think I'm going to go over to Hulu and listen to that Tegan and Sarah catfishing documentary, Fandemonium or whatever it's called, I don't know. I'm going to listen to that, I'm going to go watch that while I work on art, but... Have a snack, have some sweet potato fries, and make myself a little slider or something. But yeah. Wednesday, people, it's Wednesday. It's out of context. Um, yeah, I think I, I was always sort of in a storyline. This is before I was in a wheelchair on the show, but. Um, what? I I yeah, on the show. Was, on the show. Was, Remember that? On the show. Guy for some girl, you you were not actually in that wheelchair. Uh, no, I, I, I stopped that. I, th I think it, there's a button video circulating about. Yeah, I think there's a what? You were kissing your fan. Yeah. The glory days, man. You know? What? I, I, I miss it a lot. That was when I had this guy on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yep, yep. at the Doubletree Hotel. Yep. Nine in the morning. Bags, bags. How is that the glory yeah. days? I, I, wow. You know? Yeah, I don't know if I, 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 you know, you never know how old fans are and uh, and w what they've been up to prior to the show. So uh huh. I don't know if I, I don't, I don't kiss fans anymore, but uh, uh. But it's it's still love. That is what Megan the Stallion would call a goofy. This is he's goofy, guys. This is a goof. This is a goof. This is Canadian slang for PDF file. That's a goof. Okay. Remember, Megan told us about him first. He sampled R. Kelly. He 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 should be on the Megan's Law thing. He you know was making fun of her when he has the BBL. Um, and and she said he's a goof. He's goofy because he's a goof. It's Canadian slang. You were not actually in that wheelchair. Did you catch that? I know I'm a mess today. Focus. It's because it was too busy. It's broken now because it was looking at Drake. There we go. So, yeah. 
This is probably a long ass vlog. I gotta start doing something. I want to clean up my desk, but my back was killing me last night. It was so bad. Like, I just remember getting into bed and like I left my phone like out here in the living room and shit. Like, when I woke up, I was like, where's my phone? Like, oh crap. I like left it in. I just literally got in bed. I'm like, laid there. I remember getting in bed with Patrick being like, I'm hurting and I'm holding my hand and falling asleep. <laughs> so hi, welcome. Phillip's in the box right there. You can see his ear. Huh. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. I'm watching this Nardward up uh Nardward. Nardward's crazy. I've known about Nardward for about like the last 10 fucking years. Um there was this YouTuber I used to listen to before the pandemic, and he was a conspiracy type YouTuber, and his name was Josh Reeves. And a lot of his stuff I did not believe in. I thought it was crap, but he was funny to listen to because he was kind of a locale himself. He was always begging for money and shit, and he was always broke, but the dude just sat around in his like little apartment in like fucking Texas working on his documentary for the last like five fucking years like I think he finally got it done or something but and then he wants to charge people like 30 bucks for it and it's like you know you might make more money just putting it on YouTube or whatever but anyway so besides the point guy like to talk about Tupac and he would talk a lot about Tupac and he also would talk a lot about rappers and the rap thing and he'd talk about Nardwar. And he talked about how Nardwar would freak people out. Like, he would find out shit about people that they're like, how the hell did you know? Because Nardwar would do research. He wasn't lazy. A lot of people are lazy assholes. Like, a lot of people are, are lazy, stupid, and not willing to do the work. Like, the YouTube algorithm. Like, everybody sits around and goes, oh, no. We don't know how it works. It's like a black hole, blah, blah, blah. And then I go and I go and look at it and I'm like, wait a minute, this is the data set that is fucking up. These are the data sets that are screwing up the algorithm and getting people like blacklisted and shit. Like Swoop, remember Swoop? Her first channel had this major glitch on it. And even YouTube said there's a glitch and we don't know how to fix your YouTube channel. You're going to have to start a new one. That's why we got Swoop. She used to have, it was Spanky Valentine TV. Well, her videos got dumped into the YouTube um, ADEM data set. And it skewed the skewed her ratio and uh, engagement ratio and fucked her over. And so no one ever saw her videos. She never got recommended nothing. And she had to start a new channel. That's what happened there. But you, everybody wanted to sit around and act like we didn't know how any of this was happening. And here I am, this like middle-aged, disabled woman who smokes weed all day, who sits in her apartment in Indio, California, figured all this out. How is that possible? A little bit of research, guys. You do a little research, you put a little things together, you, you start seeing the puzzle come together and you're like, shit. I did not realize the puzzle was actually a picture of a fuzzy kitten. Remember, that's why the algorithm loves cats. That's why cats have kind of become so popular. That is my conspiracy theory, is cats have become popular because of the algorithm, you know? Like, I never heard people talking about cats like this in the 90s. When I was a kid growing up, it was always cats are the boring thing. Like I, I've said before, um, Mark and Brian, those old school radio hosts from the 90s, early 2000s, they had a whole radio program about how if you have a cat, you're the cat's employee. And if you have a dog, the dog becomes a part of your family where a cat treats you like an employee. And it's kind of true in a way. So, welcome. Delphi trial day six? Day six. Yeah. I gotta do some laundry. Like I said, I wanted to start messing around with the desk. I don't know. My back's been hurting. Thought about maybe waiting till Monday when Patrick's home. We're busy most of the weekend, which I'll bring you with us, but we're busy a lot of the weekend because Patrick's birthday was Tuesday, so we're gonna hang out with friends this weekend for his birthday. It's like a whole birthday month, isn't it great? But 
yeah, this is, this is crazy. This is, this is, oh, I know what I forgot to tell you guys. Let's hopefully it. So this morning we were, we were talking about Drake. I was talking about Drake with my mom and Patrick before they went to fucking work. And I, I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you about this. Okay. And we were talking about how like. They were talking about, we were, I was watching some video, and then they were talking about the women that Drake has dated over the years, and how he's dated all these women, right? And I'm like, I'm like, God, who hasn't Drake dated? I go, I go, and Patrick goes, not me, and my mom goes, not me, and I go, don't, we, don't you know someone who dated Drake? I think I told you guys this. I have a cousin who dated Drake a couple years ago. She was in the art for his, like, uh, I forget what this was called, but she was in this. This is her. I'm going to I'm gonna have to get a hold of my cousin and find out what's going on here. I'm not sure. Now, she is younger than Drake. Not a lot, but, like, she's, like, 30, in her early 30s. They've known Drake. She's known Drake for a while. She went to high school in L.A., and it might have been that one high school he sings about. I'm going to have to do some family research, and, yeah. But yeah, um, I have a family member. <laughs> I have a family member that Drake dated. I need to find out some family tea there. There's something there. What's that about? Hmm. He looks so old. Even though this is a crappy picture, like he looks so old there. My mom was showing me the picture this morning. She's like, "That's your cousin with Drake," and I'm like, "Your cousin dated Drake." I'm like, "What?" That's your cousin. She dated Drake. What? 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 Right. So I'm waiting for basically Unfiltered's episode to come out today. They dress up like... Zack and... The sweet life of Zack and Cody. They all dress up like characters from that. <laughs> Uh, you know how I feel about that show. I wrote a college paper about that show. I wrote a, I, when I was in college, oh God, this had to have been 15 years ago, 14 years ago, I took developmental psychology and we had to write a paper and I wrote about children's TV shows and the difference between children's TV shows when I was going, when I was growing up versus, um, the kids of that day. And so that would have been like 15 years ago. So that would have been like Alicia's like demographic, um, or Remy or, you know, those people, right? Like I said, I'm on, I'm older. I just turned 37. So, um, I wrote about how like they had shows about like kids being rich or famous so like you had this this show about two boys who lived in a hotel because their mom was an actress this is bougie or what and then i wrote about um the miley cyrus um hannah montana i wrote about that because um here she was saying you can live a double life guys you can you can um be famous and fake who you are and who cares as long as it's because you're famous and then you can just be yourself behind the scenes and it's like you can lie to be famous like it was a whole thing I wish I still had some of those papers they were really good so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm just trying to get with it it's been a slow week it has been a slow week I just I don't know what it is I think it's just because it's October, and it's like, I know my hair's a fucking mess today, but, you know, I'm coming off my, like, birthday, anniversary, we're starting hockey season and whatnot, so I'm just like, I'm trying to just adjust to season coming back, you know, like, the social season and shit, so, 
And then, like, it's hot again, too. Like, it's in the 90s, and it should be cooling off. Like, it cooled off for a little bit, and we got, like, the high 80s or low 80s, and then it got warm again, so it's, like, the fluctuation in temperature is just not helping my arthritis in my back whatsoever, or my shoulders. <sighs> so, yeah. Productive pain life my cousin dated drake Ugh. i love how overnight the neverfull just said hey i'm that girl again i have seen so many people be gifted the new neverfull that's like reversible and it's crazy to me because i haven't whipped this baby out in a long time i bought this in 2015 i actually have a what's in my first bag video of me having this and i gave one away to my viewers too that's literally almost 10 years ago wait that would be sick if somehow Whoever won it saw this video and then was like, oh my god, I would love to see it. Stitch it. I don't know. For anyone who doesn't understand how bags can appreciate, like, this is a prime example of, like, take care of your stuff and, like, it can be worth more money. I bought this bag for $1,200 in 2015. Now, if you were to buy this, like, in store, it's $2,000. That's a huge difference. Obviously, inflation. And then the new ones that they just launched are selling for $3,000. Hey. And yeah, I'm curious if you're more interested into, like, buying a Neverfull or, like... Alicia's trying to convince us on YouTube that buying a Louis Vuitton purse is actually a financial asset. Yeah, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, a, a real woman's opinion on that crap. Mine too. Alicia, that is not a, a, an asset. I wrote her a... I love shut the fuck up on this. I wrote her a comment. Let's see if it's still there. Yes, and it's got seven likes on it. Because she doesn't get very many comments and likes on her um thing. Hi, it's Friday. I got to end this, but I got to ran a little bit before. My mom just walked in the door. It's Friday. I got a hockey game later. Go Firebirds. Anyways, so I left this comment here for Alicia to educate her woman to woman that I, this is what I said. This is not how finance works, baby girl. First off, your bag is used. That means it's not going to have the same value as a new purse. Second, the value of the purse is based off market demand. Remember that. It's not a financial asset that has gained value over time. Its worth is based on supply and demand. A purse is not a financial asset. Anyone with a financial background knows this. Stop trying to make investing in purses a thing. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not happening. Purses is an investment. It's not happening. Okay? It didn't work for Drake. Drake who said he was buying Birkins for his future wife and they were investment. It didn't work for Drake. Listen to Megan the Stallion. Buy stocks, not Birkins. She said that in Boa. She said, I, you buy Birkins, I buy stocks. She was talking about Drake, who spent all of that money, which he signed a lifetime contract. Drake was dumb. He signed a lifetime contract. Once his money is gone, it's, go it's fucking gone, okay? I don't, he dumped a lot into that fucking gaudy ass mansion too, so. This is not a financial asset, baby girl, okay? No, 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 no. Listen to Megan the Stallion, okay? Don't buy purses, buy stocks. Like, there are certain types of assets where they will appreciate over time and you can do the math financially as like, um, usually this is a financial investor's job, right? And they will be able to show you a future projection. There's certain types of investments. If Patrick was here, I could tell you for sure. They're usually like bonds, like bonds, you know, you'd buy like how they had war bonds and shit like that. Well, those you're buying because you're giving your the government money for them to use now. And later on, they're going to pay you so much more on the, let's say, the dollar for this bond you bought. 
but you have to wait for this bond to appreciate to that value. So this bond, it'll say it's a 20 year bond or a hundred year bond, Wait, I, but usually 20 year bonds is what I used to hear. So in 20 years, that bond, say you're buying it for like $50, well, in, a, in 20 years, that bond will now be $100. So it'll be worth twice as much than what you paid for it now versus, you know, in the future. But you have to wait for it to appreciate to that value. That is not a purse. That is not Alicia's Louis Vuitton purse. That is not an asset that is going to mature to a certain value. Your purse is based off of supply and demand. So it's, if there is a big, like say Louis Vuitton had these special collections that they came out back in the day. Um, they did one with that artist I used to really love. Um, I can't remember his name. But they did a Machino, I think Machino, they collabed with him. But there was a lot of like collabs they've done, right? And they're limited edition collections, like the graffiti collection. Those are probably going to have more value later on because it's a limited edition collection. There was only so many made. So in theory, later on, it, there might be more of a market demand for that purse because Louis Vuitton isn't making it or manufacturing it anymore. So there's going to be a limited supply of it. And if it was a popular purse, there will be more of a demand, like your Sunny Angels dolls, for example. Um, Remy got a rare Sunny Angel doll that goes for like 400 and something dollars on eBay, right? Well, because there was not a lot of that Sunny Angel doll that was made, there is more of a demand for it. But in maybe five years, let's say when nobody gives a shit about Sunny Angels dolls anymore, the value of that Sunny Angel doll might drop to say like 20 bucks and not be 400 anymore because it's just the Sunny Angel doll and somehow they manufactured more and everybody's got one now and someone made a duplicate or whatever or just no one gives a crap. Beanie Babies did this, for example. So this is not a example of an asset that is going to appreciate. This is bad financial information. Don't listen. What's that? Patrick excited about a uh, hockey two hours yes so this don't listen to Alicia Marie here this is not a, a purse is not an a, 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 a asset is not a financial asset for one two it's not going to appreciate in value like a bond it is actually going its value is going to be dependent on the market and the condition of the purse as well like Never fulls are a dime a dozen. That is that never full she has is gonna cost less than a new never full today. Facts. So, what did we learn in this vlog? We learned purses are not a financial asset that will appreciate. Their value is based on market demand, supply and demand. They are not a bond. A bond is a financial asset that will appreciate in value. A purse is not. Listen to Megan the Stallion. Don't buy Birkins, buy stocks. She went to college and she's a hottie. Listen, she knows things. This one doesn't. Get it? Hot girls study finance. Yes, they do. Hot girls, real hot girls, they study finance. This one doesn't. So, I'm going to end on that note so I can get ready for hockey and finish this. Um, use your brain. Yes, guys. It, it'll serve you in shit like this. This is why this one's going to end up broken. I've been yelling at her. Yeah, there's my thing. So, as always, guys, I love you. I am going to probably get B-roll footage of the 
hockey tonight. I'm going to be hanging out with some friends after the game and shit like that too. So yes, go Firebirds. But I will be vlogging this weekend too. It's also Patrick's birthday weekend and we got plans with friends too. So I, I will figure it out. We'll do something. But you'll have this vlog. It's long, as you guys know, because you just got through it. But anyways, as always, I love you. I hope you have a good weekend. Be safe doing whatever you're going to do. And remember, use your brain. Don't buy Birkins. Buy stocks. Like Megan the Stallion. And you will be hot, just like her. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah!